Welcome to our August newsletter. I'm Jenny Johnson, founder of Kids Aloud. A number of parents have fed back that how we um, present the free entitlement on their invoices is really quite um, difficult to understand. So we've spent a fair bit of time this month trying to find a much simpler way to present things to you. And for the September term, we're going to try one single um, termly statement that explains everything to you. So we hope you like the new way of doing things. It's there to respond to your feedback. Also, some parents have um, mentioned as much as they love our Facebook site, they would like one specifically for their own centre so that they can really keep up to date with what's going on um, at the centre the child attends. So we're actually trialling that. Uh, we've started one for Nutsford. Um, so give that a follow and see what you think. And if that's a success and there are no unforeseen issues around doing a specific site for each centre, then we will roll that out to the other centres as well. And uh, parking is another thing that a few parents have had um, the odd gripe about. And we've responded to that by changing changing the arrangements for the colleagues, so we're hoping you've all noticed a big difference there. We continue to invest in our gardens and this month we've improved the toddler gardens at both Macclesfield and Nutsford so we hope you've noticed those. Um, we've uh, improved the toilet seats believe it or not, we get into all sorts of detail at Kids Allow but we have some new fantastic toilet seats that are making toilet training easier for the children so we're rolling those out to all of the centres. Um, we're also improving the children's beds, um, if you like the vice spring of the children's bed world um, and we'll be investing in new beds for all the children over the coming 12 months with one big order. Um, for Cheadle and Christie's having already been placed, which are our older sites. Um, new menus have been launched and uh, the children are absolutely loving the summer menus and we've tried to um, actually take menus from different parts of the world as well so that children are experiencing lots of different cultural tastes um, at the same time, as well as allowing our chefs a bit more freedom so that we're also having the odd chef special where the week before the chef will let you know what the special is going to be for the week after just so that they can keep their creative juices going too. And we're also launching um, tennis school in September. Um, we're going to trial it at our Christie's site and it'll be for preschool two children and we're going to work with the Albert Club, um, a fantastic coach there called Dave who's going to um, be the, the person leading that uh, tennis school for the young children and he's actually popped along today to tell us a little bit about the tennis school. Twenty-three years ago, uh, when my first son was born, um, I went off and got my first tennis coaching certificate. I'd been a, not bad, um, I had got a good junior career and a very enthusiastic tennis player, but clearly not only was I getting a bit past my sell-by date, I was also, uh, you know, it was not going to be possible to carry on training and doing what I did uh, and have a young family. So I went off and got a coaching certificate, and fortunately I, I succeeded, um, and then I went down to my local tennis club. Now there was already a coach working there, and on a Saturday morning, like coach do we'd have a bunch of kids there doing things with them but there were younger brothers and sisters so I started working with the younger brothers and sisters um, I mean I was kind of making it up really to be honest with you but as time went along these things people's research at Stanford University at Loughborough University they began to realize that being able to incorporate the uh, ball skills the coordination skills at a very early age enables kids when they're older to be much more successful at sports um, you know children at that age are developing their coordination skills at the most alarming rate. They go from zero, you know, when they're virtually sort of latter stage Alzheimer's, to running around the place by the time they're three or four. And they're doing that at an incredible pace. And if you chuck in the pot at the same time, skills which are to do with sports, they, as time goes on, will be much more successful at sports when they, when they get older. Um, tennis specific things, um, but a lot of these things are transferable to, to other sports, being able Able to, you know, being able to catch a ball, throw a ball, hit a ball, uh, movement, balance, coordination, all these sort of skills are very useful. Sports in general, um, I think are a great uh, you know, learning, because what happens when you play sports is you will often lose. Uh, in fact, if you play tennis seriously, you lose a lot. And that's what it's about. It's about dusting yourself off, picking yourself up, focusing on what you need to do to be more successful. And I actually think as, a, as they get older, this is a life skill that kids have, which they learn from sport, which they don't really learn in any other part of their life. The 
five and six year olds that attend Kids Aloud are really looking forward to the 14th of August when they're off to Media City to uh, be part of the audience for Justin's house. It's a real shame that we couldn't persuade them to take our four year olds as well but they were just uh, not moving on the issue so uh, the five and six year olds that are going to uh, be in the audience just cannot wait. Um, also the graduation, we added a, um, a combined graduation date for anybody that couldn't attend their own graduation but it's ended up not being a popular idea so there was only two or three children that could attend. It wouldn't have been a vibrant and meaningful event so we've cancelled that one but we will flash up the dates um, for your diary for graduation just as a second reminder because it's a very important date for the diary. And then also uh, Christmas, I know it's a long long way away but we have agreed with our team and they will really appreciate this if parents would support it that we'll close at four o'clock on Christmas Eve just to give colleagues chance to get home and spend more time with their own children. And finally, I know many of the parents already know that we have a very active apprenticeship programme at Kids Aloud. And uh, this week I'm really excited to be bringing um, an apprentice from every one of our centres to the World Merit Day in Liverpool, where we're going to hear speakers such as Malala and Katie Piper. I must admit I'm quite excited too, and I think it's going to be a real inspiration for our young apprentices to hear the calibre of speaker that, we'll, that they'll be hearing at that event.